Are you taking a Pixabin or considering it as a treatment option? Before you make any decisions, it's important to be aware of the hidden dangers associated with this medication. In this video, we will unravel the side effects of a Pixabin that you need to know. A Pixabin, also known by its brand name Eliquis, is a prescription blood thinner that is commonly used to prevent strokes and blood clots in people with certain medical conditions. While the drug has been proven effective in reducing the risk of these conditions, it is not without risks. Common Uses of Apixaban Apixaban is primarily used to prevent strokes and blood clots in individuals with atrial fibrillation, a condition characterized by irregular heart rhythm. It is also prescribed for the treatment and prevention of deep vein thrombosis, DVT, and pulmonary embolism, PE. These conditions occur when blood clots form in the veins, potentially leading to serious complications such as organ damage or death. Apixaban works by inhibiting the activity of a specific clotting factor in the blood called factor exa. By doing so, it reduces the formation of blood clots and lowers the risk of strokes and other clot-related events. Potential Side Effects of Apixaban While Apixaban has proven to be an effective medication for its intended purposes, it is important to be aware of the potential side effects that can occur. Like any medication, apixaban can cause unwanted reactions in some individuals. One of the main concerns with apixaban is its potential to cause bleeding. While mild bleeding, such as nosebleeds or minor cuts, is a common side effect, there have been cases of severe bleeding that can be life-threatening. It is crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you experience any signs of severe bleeding, such as prolonged or heavy bleeding, coughing up blood, or blood in your urine. Blood clotting risks associated with apixaban Ironically, while apixaban is used to prevent blood clots, it can also increase the risk of bleeding. This is especially true for individuals who have certain medical conditions or who are taking other medications that can affect blood clotting. Individuals with a history of bleeding disorders, gastrointestinal ulcers, or recent surgeries may have an increased risk of bleeding while taking apixaban. Additionally, the risk of bleeding may be higher in older adults who may have thinner blood vessels or reduced kidney function. It is important to note that the risk of bleeding with apixaban needs to be balanced against the benefits it provides in preventing strokes and blood clots. Your healthcare provider will assess your individual risk factors and determine whether the benefits outweigh the potential risks for you. Gastrointestinal Side Effects of Apixaban Apart from the risk of bleeding, apixaban can also cause gastrointestinal side effects such as stomach pain, nausea, and indigestion. These symptoms are generally mild and go away on their own without any specific treatment. However, if you experience persistent or severe stomach pain, or if you notice blood in your stool, it is important to seek medical attention. Apixaban and liver function. Apixaban is primarily eliminated from the body through the liver. Therefore, individuals with liver disease or impaired liver function may be at a higher risk of experiencing side effects or complications while taking apixaban. Your healthcare provider may need to adjust the dosage or closely monitor your liver function if you have underlying liver conditions. It is important to inform your healthcare provider about any history of liver disease or any other liver-related conditions, as this information will help them make informed decisions about your medication plan. Allergic reactions to apixaban While rare, allergic reactions to apixaban can occur. Signs of an allergic reaction may include itching, rash, swelling, dizziness, or difficulty breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. Inform your healthcare provider about any known allergies or previous allergic reactions to medications before starting apixaban. They will be able to assess your risk and determine the most appropriate course of action. Mental health effects of apixaban. Some individuals may experience mental health effects while taking apixaban. These can include feelings of anxiety, depression, or changes in mood. If you notice any significant changes in your mental health or emotional well-being, it is important to discuss them with your healthcare provider. They can help determine whether these effects are related to apixaban or if there may be other underlying factors contributing to these symptoms. It is important not to ignore any changes in mental health and seek appropriate support when needed. Interactions with other medications. Apixaban can interact with other medications, including over-the-counter drugs and herbal supplements. It is important to inform your healthcare provider about any medications you are currently taking, including vitamins and supplements, to avoid potential drug interactions. Some medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, and certain antidepressants, can increase the risk of bleeding when taken together with apixaban. Your healthcare provider will be able to guide you on the safe use of apixaban in combination with other medications. When comparing apixaban and warfarin, 
it's important to consider several factors, including dose, side effects, and efficacy. Both medications are commonly used as anticoagulants, or blood thinners, to prevent blood clots and reduce the risk of stroke in patients with certain medical conditions. Dose. One of the key differences between apixaban and warfarin is the dosing regimen. Apixaban comes in a fixed dose, typically 2.5 mg or 5 mg, taken twice daily. This means that patients do not need regular monitoring of their blood levels and adjustments to their dose. On the other hand, warfarin requires frequent monitoring of the International Normalized Ratio INR, a measure of blood clotting time. The dose of warfarin is adjusted based on the INR levels, which can vary depending on factors such as diet and other medications. Side Effects Both apixaban and warfarin have potential side effects, but they differ in their profile. Common side effects of apixaban include bleeding, bruising, and gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea and indigestion. Warfarin, on the other hand, carries a risk of more serious bleeding complications. Additionally, warfarin has a higher risk of drug interactions, requiring careful monitoring of other medications taken by the patient. Efficacy. When it comes to efficacy, both apixaban and warfarin have been proven effective in preventing blood clots. However, clinical trials have shown that apixaban may be more effective than warfarin in reducing the risk of stroke in patients with non-valvular atrial fibrillation. It has also been associated with lower rates of major bleeding events compared to warfarin. Example. For example, a recent study compared apixaban and warfarin in patients with atrial fibrillation and found that apixaban reduced the risk of stroke or systemic embolism by 21% compared to warfarin. Additionally, the study showed that apixaban had a significantly lower rate of major bleeding events. This suggests that apixaban may be a more effective and safer option for patients with atrial fibrillation. In conclusion, when comparing apixaban and warfarin, it is important to consider factors such as dose, side effects, and efficacy. Apixaban offers the advantage of a fixed dose without the need for regular monitoring, while warfarin requires careful monitoring and dose adjustments. Side effects differ between the two medications, with apixaban associated with a lower risk of major bleeding events. Lastly, apixaban has been shown to be more effective than warfarin in reducing the risk of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. Ultimately, the choice between apixaban and warfarin should be made based on individual patient factors and medical history. Conclusion and Precautions Apixaban is a widely used medication for preventing strokes and blood clots. While it comes with potential risks and side effects, it is important to remember that the benefits of apixaban in reducing the risk of serious clot-related events outweigh the potential risks for most individuals. If you are currently taking apixaban or considering it as a treatment option, it is crucial to consult with your healthcare provider and discuss any concerns or questions you may have. They can provide personalized advice based on your individual medical history and risk factors. Remember to stay informed and proactive in managing your health. By understanding the potential risks and side effects of apixaban, you can make an informed decision about your treatment plan and take necessary precautions to minimize the risks associated with this medication. If you experience any concerning side effects or have any doubts about apixaban, do not hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider for guidance and support. Your well-being is of utmost importance, and together with your healthcare team, you can ensure the most appropriate and safe treatment plan for your condition. Thanks for watching.